There's something therapeutic about the sounds of water splashing against the shore. But all is not well beneath these tranquil waves. Invasive zebra and quagga mussels are infecting many of our lakes in ways never before experienced or even imagined. Thousands of these invaders drop to the floor each time commercial fisherman Jeff Weborg releases his gill nets into Lake Michigan. It's uh, hard to imagine, but uh, our scientist at NOAA who studies life on the bottom has estimated that there are over four quadrillion mussels on the bottom of the lake. These destructive mussels blanket the floor of big and small lakes alike. They have invaded 20 states, lurking in hundreds of inland lakes and six major rivers. And they stick themselves to everything. So if you take a look at a pipe that mussels have entered, now you've got a problem. Utility pipes and machinery often get clogged with massive amounts of sticky mussels, and it's costing us millions. Right now, it's probably between 15 and 20 million a year to control them at the pipes. But that's only part of the problem. They can change the ecosystem in ways you don't want the ecosystem changed. Hungry zebra and quagga mussels are literally sucking in plankton, a critical part of the food chain and necessary for the survival of game fish. And the mussels have a voracious appetite. A zebra mussel the size of my thumb can filter a liter or roughly a quart of water a day. The only way these invasives can get into a lake is when a recreational boater or angler inadvertently puts them there. When traveling from one body of water to another, they either forget or don't know how to rid their boats of microscopic larvae. Those larvae are virtually invisible to the naked eye. There's about 100 zebra mussel larvae in this vial. The only prevention method is to clean, drain, and dry your boat every time you take it out of the water. Make sure that you don't move water of any kind from one body of water to another. Uh, that means the bait buckets and the live wells and anything else that might be contained in your, in your vessel. It's the only way to stop these invasive aquatic hitchhikers, known as the silent invaders.